Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna discuss and I'm gonna show you how you can install a firewall on your Arch Linux system. Uh, usually, there, there are some uh, tools that are installed with almost any distribution or any Linux system. I believe that IP tables comes pre-built and installed with any Linux distribution if I'm not mistaken although I found in Arch wiki that you can install it probably I don't know but it's maybe a confirmation that you need to install it or emphasizing I don't know okay so if you want to talk about the most common firewall as I guess there are two uh, main firewall uh, interfaces they are command line which are fire which are firewall D and UFW UFW comes usually with Ubuntu I'm not sure if it comes with the rest of Debian based distributions and firewall D comes with the RPM based distributions like Fedora Rocky Red Hat Enterprise Linux and so on. Uh, UFW also I remember I've seen it on Open OpenSUSE and although OpenSUSE is RPM based but it's an exception it doesn't run firewall D. For me if you ask me what, which one I prefer I prefer uh, each one of them has its own pros and cons for example for UFW it's simple all you have to do is to the syntax is a little bit uh, shorter you just run like you have w allow and the port number and so on however for uh, firewall d the good thing that i like is that you have the option to open a port but temporarily i don't like to open a port and then i forget about it sometimes i just want to open a port and it's temporary so if i use ufw i don't like to use it because i need to make sure which ports are open okay and uh, if you ask me what what i recommend you if you for example were, was using if you were using uh, let's say red hat distribution fedora red hat based or RP, rpm based distribution and you move it to an arch i guess and you tried or you used the firewall the default firewall for your previous distribution you better go with firewall D although you have the option to install UFW and if you uh, were running something that was with UFW particularly uh, Ubuntu it's better for you to run UFW if you ask me about uh, if they are very similar whenever you want to open a port or a service because sometimes those firewalls allow you to open up a, a service instead of a port let's say SSH the good thing is that there is the option to open a specific service and all the assigned parts usually it's one part in general uh, but if you for example find a specific service explicitly mentioned for a specific firewall of the two that we're talking about you may not find it in the other one you may for example find SSH as a service for firewall D I'm not sure you may not find it as a service for UFW so you need to explicitly mention the port like you type UFW allow and then the port number and then the uh, slash TCP alright so we have our Arch Linux running here this is the neo fetch as a uh, evidence okay so the first thing you can update your packages by typing this command as yyu but because i guess i did it uh, recently i'm not gonna do it to install we will start in this video with installing ufw and then in the future we will install firewall d I don't think we can install both of them at the same time 
So if we uh, if you ever install a DFW or firewall D and wanted to install another one, you should remove the first one and then go to the uh, new one that you want to use. So we press enter our password. I guess UFW and the size is smaller than firewall D. You can uh, check. You can check the wiki of Arch. It contains some details. And for UFW, it's quite simple. Okay, you better like prepare all these ones in general. These commands we're gonna run them. I'll put them in the details or the description of this video and of course you should enable the, its service ok so we check it says that we need to make sure that uh, IP tables is enable, enabled status IP tables it's not enabled so we need to enable it as I guess I guess I'm wrong when I said that all Linux distributions come with IP tables enabled if I ever said it. So now we enable and start uh, enable UFW. Okay. As they said here. We started also. We, we are able to run one command which is enable dash dash now. But because we uh, ena enabled, we simply run the other command, which is start. Okay. Then we run all these commands as root. Fw default deny. Enter. Okay. So. I don't know if this one we are supposed to enable it this way but let's give it a try the one that matches with my local area network then we this one also on it then this one okay and then FW enable that's the good or the pro of UFW its simplicity yeah you need to make sure this thing is like make sure if you're uh, running these commands from an SSH connection you need to make sure that you enable the SSH uh, command uh, SSH service sorry So yes, it limits, but it doesn't uh, deny it. If we if we try it deny, it's gonna be blocked. So the connection may be cut. So the simple way, if we want to enable a specific service or a, or a port, we can type sudo ufw allow and the port number. Let's say the port is 21 for FTP. And then yes, that's it. If you want to deny it, we can simply type deny. Yes. And then there is the limit, which I still, uh, I don't know very well what it, what it means. And then we can check the status in general. So all, only these commands are what we need. When compared to uh, firewall D, this firewall is so much simpler that's uh, one of its pros however it uh, lacks the option of temporarily enabling or opening a port which I do not like so much this is uh, what I think otherwise if you know or you, if you're sure that the, there is a way to uh, only temporarily enable or open a port tell me in the comments because that's what I think, that's what I tried. I may be wrong, who knows. Okay? And we are humans, we, we are humans, we make mistakes. Okay, thank you for watching. I guess that's it for this video. And see you in another video.